animal control. Despite some of the uh, turbulence we've had with personnel, um, actually we are light around three right now. If you see your slide, it says we're vacant too. That's because we've hired a new animal control officer. Fortunately, he won't be here until May 20th, which is why I'm standing in. What you're seeing is three major things going on. First, we're improving the play areas for the animals, turning them all to concrete. To, uh, to avoid zoonotic diseases. In addition to that, we're improving the animal pens, we're improving the drainage of the, uh, of the animal waste area. So what you see for the animal control shelter is a, a total budget of $249,070. It's a decrease from the previous year of minus 2.7%. So the next one would be the uh, police department. You have a budget for you about $7,617,875 on the first chart. This is, represents an overall increase of 3.1%. So far, you got their mission and, and services that you see there. We have uh, raised our staffing levels to a possible peak of 53 officers. Our HVAC project, uh, that's a major project, uh, three years in the making now. It looks like that's going to be completed here as we're uh, in the, in the uh, home stretch in the uh, summer of uh, 20. Uh, 24. We've uh, implemented the use of body cameras uh, for all police officers. Mental health and well-being calls persons in crisis. We've seen an uptick in this since I first came on the department. We're at an all-time high for shoplifting calls, at, which was at 264. We're going to jump right into the fire department. So this is two parts. One's broken into ambulance and then to the fire, which is expenses and salary, right? So the ambulance operates as a receipt reserve fund. Uh, and it acts as a revenue officer. The uh, transfers uh, from available, and you'll see ambulance receipt reserve, you'll see the amount of $2,095,260. Currently uh, about 87 calls ahead of this time last year, so 6% increase already. Right. Uh, last year we did about 5,700 runs. Uh, our uh, simultaneous calls to service are at 20%. So it is very uh, common for us to have three or four calls going out at the same time. I'll bring before you the uh, senior center budget for today. Uh, you're seeing its total budget for fiscal year 25 of 255, $254,000. That's a modest decrease from last we, year. We uh, gathered grants of nearly $69,000. Okay, so we are all into using OPM. We increased our senior tax work off program. And I have to say that the town manager's office, we actually had a, a senior working there for next year's goals and objectives. Probably the biggest one that we're looking at right now is uh, incorporating our new senior center director and also uh, migrating the senior center slowly from where they are on Elm Street into 451 Elm Street. Our mission and services remain the same. We really strive to improve the quality of life any way that we can for our residents. Fortunately, we have a department full of fantastic people that work diligently to accomplish our mission. The major change that you'll see there um, is in the uh, salary items. I had put in an increase of additional three hours for the part-time nurse. Um, that will allow me to be able to do more programming and educational offerings by having her in the office more. Um, so our mission and services remain the same. So I'm going to go on to the next slide. The major accomplishment for FY24, I have to say, is even though it's a work in progress, is the renovation project. And you'll see I moved some money around. Um, a lot of this is just moving it. I took a thousand from the electric and and I put 500 of that into the alarm system, which had been underfunded, and 500 into um, the copier. Uh, mission statement and service uh, certainly hasn't changed. Uh, it's certainly all about community, family, children. Um, so I'm, I'm blessed to um, be the caretaker of this particular division. We have five full-time laborers who handle 28 properties throughout the town. We cut the grass at the police station. We do in front of town hall. We do uh, the cemeteries. So you'll see beach slash pool. Um, that has been a major undertaking um, through, um, again, uh, through Mr. Bork's help and certainly the capital over the last couple of years, and certainly enhancing more of the, the recreation opportunities for our community.